Welcome to Johnny's World. Welcome back to Johnny's World. It's October 15, 2023. And I just had a really great 2023 dragon fruit season this year. And as you can see, there's a lot of dragon fruits everywhere. And to be honest, this was a lot of work. I hand pollinated over 20 dragon fruits. And <clears throat> the only dragon fruit I didn't capture on film really is the first dragon fruit of the season. I think it was a white flesh dragon fruit that probably flowered in the end of July or, or maybe mid July and then uh, we harvested the fruit in August. But besides that, all of these um, fruits, I uh, pretty much flowered in the end of August. And um, yeah, uh, had a lot of flowering throughout. And I've had, this year I have over 20 dragon fruits, different varieties too. This one right there is a Haley's Comet. This is a white flesh, no, this is a red flesh dragon fruit, I believe. So I have uh, different varieties of uh, dragon fruit. And this red flesh, we had a chance to sample it last year. It was really nice and sweet. It's delicious. So that's the Haley's Comet. And this is the white flesh. And then all of these, these are American Beauty. And they are beautiful, aren't they? Well, this is way back let's go back in time this is august 30 2023 and <clears throat> besides that one dragon fruit that we harvested all the dragon fruit flowers are starting to bloom starting starting as of august 30th so i have plenty of uh flower buds but um this one i i guess this one flowered before so i hand pollinated that one that's so that there's some um actually the one that I just saw that's the one that we harvested so that's the white flesh so i guess <clears throat> so i guess i did capture all the dragon fruits here and look at that this is gonna flower tonight so i think there's gonna be several flowers that are gonna be flowering this night And this is <clears throat> the Haley's Comet. Never tried that variety. And this is the American Beauty. I've never tried this variety either. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. But <clears throat> back in August 30th, a lot of the flowers uh, haven't flowered yet. So this, besides that one fruit that uh, was hanging, <clears throat> um, I haven't really flowered anything else. So. I uh, hand pollinated anything else so yeah these um, we're gonna be having a busy few weeks so this is a red flesh dragon fruit and these two will be flowering so way back in August 30th when this video was picked uh, filmed it was relatively hot I think but um, I'm very happy with this year's production. But yeah, there's been a lot of nights starting this point where I had to go out. And some of them I, I didn't capture in video. Uh, a lot of the hand pollinations because they flowered in different times. And uh, many of those uh, hand pollination videos I, I didn't uh, end up posting. So this is that same night, August 30th, 2023, and as you can see, some of the flower buds have flowered. I believe this is the Haley's Comet. That's the American Beauty. Look how beautiful. So I'm going to cross-pollinate these. Um, 
I know that a lot of time based on my experience, when I cross pollinate and I, I kind of mix the pollen together of different varieties, somehow the dragon fruit tends to get bigger in size than if I just use in uh, some dragon fruit, you need other uh, you need a different uh, variety dragon fruit pollen to pollinate it. But um, some of these you, you don't, you know, they're self uh, fertile, so you could just use their own pollen. But I like when I have multiple flowers uh, flowering, I like mixing the pollen together. So mm-hmm. I usually get a, a super big size fruit. So this is a American Beauty, and the, the one I just pollinated, I believe that one was a Haley's Comet. And if you'll see based on, you know, the present time on October 15th, uh, we'll go back to it. The sizes of these dragon fruit are really big. So I really am a big believer that if you have different varieties of dragon fruit flowering on the same night, yeah, mix the pollens together. And you'll, you know, my experience is you tend to get a much larger and, and better quality dragon fruit so this is the American Beauty that I'm hand pollinating this was August 30th I can't believe it's already October 15th (laughs) so I've harvested just one dragon fruit so far but uh, there's some big ones now so we'll be harvest doing maybe a future harvest video on a taste test or something like that but yeah, there were a lot of nights. I mean, in this video, I'm going to capture maybe August 30th and also September 1st. And then, of course, the present day, October 15th. But there were a lot of other nights, a lot of other nights besides that, that I was out there hand pollinating because all these flowers flower at different times. And this year, one of the lucky things is most of the time, well, I would say, yeah, most of the time, there was more than one flower that flowered and a lot of times there were different varieties as well. So I was pretty good. I didn't really run short on the amount of pollen this year. Because there are some dragon fruits that are self-sterile and you need to use other varieties of dragon fruit, but it's always great even if they're self-fertile. Uh, and you could use its own pollen. It's great to just combine the pollens together at different varieties and just just cross pollinate, mix the pollens together. So yeah, so this uh, this dragon this American Beauty is really, really big. And I, I credit that to uh, mixing the pollens together so probably do a taste test on that one in the future yeah but I, I did this over 20 times this year going out at night and hand pollinating because I've noticed when I don't hand pollinate they don't they don't do well it says September 1st 2023 and I noticed this year there was a lot of bee activities throughout. So every time I came out, there was a lot of bees inside the the flowers, which was good to see. And I think this year it's because I just had so many flowers uh, bloom. Because before I had very little, and you know I, I never saw bee activity, but this year I saw bee activity all the time. Bees were just loving the pollens of the dragon fruit. So that's um, an American Beauty back there. So here is a Halley's Comet. Look at that. A lot of bee activity. I believe that's another... No, that's a white flesh dragon fruit. 
here's a red flesh dragon fruit. <clears throat> now I was able to uh, mix the red and the white flesh together, and and, and in the present time, those dragon fruits are really big too. So that was that's really nice. I love it when multiple flowers from different species, um, different varieties, bloom at the same night because I could just mix mix combine all the pollen and just mix it and just hand pollinate the one in the bottom there that didn't survive because I didn't I didn't even know that flowered so that ended up not surviving but a great season now the current date October 15th this is the American Beauty that I hand pollinated with different varieties of pollen look how big that is well, thank you for joining me today. Hope everyone has a great one. Thank you.